Welcome to ECLMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we have discussed many ideas on how to determine the magnetic field around a conductor carrying current and even how to determine a force on a conductor carrying current in a magnetic field. Now, in this lesson, we're going to discuss some of the applications of magnetic effect on electric current. And here, we're going to measure our discussion on electromagnetism and the force due to a, a conductor carrying current. So we'll discuss simple magnetic relay and uh, simple circuit breakers. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to draw a well-labeled diagram of a simple magnetic relay and then describe how a magnetic relay works. Then later, we are going to draw a well-labeled diagram of a circuit breaker. Then we are going to describe how a circuit breaker helps us to cut uh, some current when there is excess current in the circuit. So a simple magnetic relay is a set of circuits in which one circuit is used to control another circuit without any direct electrical connection between them. So we have the main parts of a simple magnetic relay. We have a contact, our first part. We have a soft ion armature, and the second one. Then of course here we have a soft ion core inside this solenoid. Then we have circuit X, this is one circuit. Let's call it circuit one. Then we have circuit Y, this is the second circuit. Then we have electrical device on circuit Y. Then we have alternating current source. And this alternating current source, that is circuit Y, it is a connection or it is a um, switch is up here where we have a contact. So in this case, if you connect this socket here or this switch here at circuit X, what's going to happen? Current is going to flow in this solenoid. When current flows in this solenoid, what will happen? This core here will get magnetized. When this soft iron core inside this solenoid get magnetized, then it will become a magnet. And if we use Fleming's right hand grip rule for a solenoid carrying current to determine the polarities, then we are going to grasp it with our right hand, say that the thumb or the fingers point in the direction of current, then the thumb will point in the direction of North Pole. Like in this case, if I grasp, my fingers will be pointing in front toward the right side of the screen. Then in this case, the upper part here will gain North Pole. Then this one will point, will gain South Pole. Then in this case, after this one has gained magnetism, then it's going to attract this soft ion armature. So yeah, there will be attraction. After it gets magnetized, there will be attraction. And when it attracts the soft ion armature, it's going to close this soft ion armature connected to this at this point P. It's going to close this contact. And when this contact is closed, the circuit in circuit Y will be complete. And in this case, the component or the electrical device which is used here will start functioning. Now, if you switch off this switch on circuit X, what will happen? This, um, this core, this soft iron core will lose magnetism because now there is no current flowing in it. When it loses magnetism, it will release this soft iron armature. When it releases the soft iron armature, then this contact at P here will be not, will not be made, and therefore the components or the devices that we have in circuit X will stop will stop functioning. So in this case, we are using circuit X to control the working of circuit Y, and that's what we call a magnetic relay. So another application that we are going to consider is a circuit breaker. And circuit breakers are used to protect electrical components from excessive flow of current. Now, the main parts of a circuit breaker is that we have the input, this electricity from the main sources. 
Then we have the component that we want to protect using this circuit breaker. Then we have a switch, and this switch is made of a magnetic material, made of a magnetic material, but this material has special properties in such a way that it can only be attracted by a very strong magnet, which is formed when there is excess current which this component cannot uh, attain or th this component cannot use or which can damage this component. So in this case, what happens when there is normal uh, current flowing, then it will be flowing through this conductor. It will make this soft core, this uh, core, to get magnetized, but that magnetism will not be enough to attract this switch. Now, when this current goes high, so that it can destroy this component, this material is made in a way that it will get enough magnetism and it will attract this switch. It will attract this material which is making the switch into itself. When it attracts that material which makes a switch, then this gap will remain and the circuit will be incomplete. When the circuit becomes incomplete, the component stops working. Now, when the the current goes low or goes down to accommodatable to this component, then this soft ion core will lose some magnetism. When it loses some magnetism, it will release, it will release this switch or this material which is making a switch. When it releases it, it goes back and make a contact. When it makes contact, the component will start functioning again. So this circuit breaker works in a way that when excess current is there, it stops or it, switch, it switches off. And when the current is normal, it goes back and makes the contact. This is important than those which, those which we use as a fuse. Because a fuse, when there's excess current, it blows off. In this case, we don't have anything which is blowing off to replace. Only when the current is in excess, that material is attracted. And then when the current is low, the core will lose some magnetism. Then it will release the material back to make contact. And in that process, you can have your circuit breaker in the home. Anytime there's excess current, there's no any threat to your components in the house. So that will mark the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will discuss other applications of magnetic effect of electric current, like earpieces, loudspeakers, and microphones.